wretches of the underworld, take heed. Don't you dare look at me like that, boy, with your mismatched eyes. You save it for yourself. You have a mirror in your chambers, don't you? If only you could see me now, Father. You found me, Artemis. Well, look at you with Exegriff, the Rail of Adamant. Seems much too noisy complicated as a hunting weapon when you could just use a nice quiet bow, but hey, to each her own. stronger.
Concealed in the dark recesses of the underworld is the land of Erebus, wherein the dead await eternal sentencing. They long for the attention and good graces of their master, the Lord Hades. Is this where Father's goons assemble to come after me? that the other Olympians are unaware he's lending his support to me. I'm curious to know what's going on. Thinking of asking Nyx, figured I'd check with you first. I'll keep it to myself for now then. Thanks. Pleasure doing business. Love it. I wish to offer the most potent of the blessings I am able to bestow. Make wise your use of this, and rise toward us. Oh. so you know not all the ladies on Olympus are alike. And I, for one, am grateful to our forebears for that. We Olympians, we are a prideful family, cousin. You cannot simply choose a favorite without spurring one of us to wrath. To do this, Athena. Looks like I injured her.
this little incident and keep our focus on the task at hand. Athena's power. Why, Prince, you being serious right now? Is that from me? You deserve better, Sisyphus. This really isn't much, but maybe it'll help you while away the days, nights, whatever time it is. Sisyphus, have you had run-ins with Tisiphone the Fury here before? She isn't much for conversation, I don't think. Tisiphone? Why, yes, I have, in fact, Prince said. She's visited on multiple occasions, truth be told. So she's back, is she? She is, although I think she's back to deal with me. I'll have to keep her plenty busy just in case. Appreciated, Prince. Of all the Fury sisters, she's the one I would least care to see. But if she does stop by, you know, that's how it goes. I've got just the thing. Cheers, mate. Good luck out there.
glad that's over. Did Exegriff just shudder? Which to choose? Go with that one. Broke out of Tartarus. Yes. Made it to Asphodel. Associates, you daft or something, cuz. Just about everybody that I know, they're all at least a little bit afraid of that one in his boat. Yet you think you can take him, huh? Time to go. I'm authorized. We shall see how good you really are. Shops. I'll take it.
hate those two. Got to hold nice and still. Say, hun. I mean, about the song. Bet he loved it, didn't he? But I don't know for sure, and I've been wondering. Kind of a lot, I guess. No need to wonder any longer. He sings it beautifully around the house sometimes. It has a sadder sound to it than when you sing, but you've inspired him again, as you've done many times before, from what I know. Huh, so it's a hit is what you're saying, then. I had a feeling about that one. Sometimes you put some words together, and right then and there, you know you've got something special. You got it. Feeling better already. Bye now. Stay cool. to keen-eyed Artemis who, in her focus on the hunt, has not developed social graces suitable enough to come to you herself. Social graces, she says, going about like that. I'm sure you know that I can find you when it's necessary, Zagreus. 
Though how to get away from Aphrodite, I have no idea. Cheers, you two. Shiny. Bone Hydra. It's been too long.
It's beautiful. Trail. One of them's not going to. 
to like this. But you took care of Theseus down in Elysium of late there, Zag. Nice work. Never liked that one. Between us. There's this nice lass helped him out one time and he just dumped her rotten. I don't like that man. Zagreus, I guess you got me. Now why don't you go take a shot at this? She won't let this go. Let's give her a show then. a stag. You heard of those? <laughs> What's new? What? Uh, oh, ha, let me guess. You got caught out by one of those exalted strongbows, did you there? Next time, if you don't stand around like you're doing here right now, maybe you won't make such an easy target. Maybe. What now, Nix? Do you realize the danger you have put her in? You claim to care for her, but now you threaten to expose her to them. Hades, when have I even once been unaware of precisely what I mean to do? I shall bring no harm to the Queen, and neither shall your son. Harm to the Queen? Wait, what are you talking about? Child, Zagreus, do you intend to betray the presence of your birth mother to the Olympians? No, of course not. She seems content to be all on her own. You take his word for it. How can you trust him not to ruin everything? Precisely how I trusted him to get us to this point. Ugh. Take it easy, boy. I'll probably be back here in no time. The watchdog Cerberus merely sulks upon his several bedroll. Your Highness, over here. As you may know, lad, I have a connection to the weapons that you use, having once wielded one of them myself. Of course, not knowing its significance back then, but I digress. Sometimes it, well, it keeps in touch, and I have a vision from it to impart. Oh, do you mean a vision from Varatha, the Eternal Spear? That's out of the ordinary, and also a bit concerning. So what did you see? Well, I saw a great bearded warrior, bigger than me, pitch black hair, bearing an aspect of Varatha unlike any with which I'm familiar. Then he was gone, 
But what still lingered were these words. I see you through the eyes of the Crimson Phoenix. I see you through the eyes of the Crimson Phoenix? I don't understand. What's that supposed to mean? There's one more thing. This was not my first such vision. Long ago, I saw one of Varatha's other bearers. It was you. Your infernal arms. They must be weapons of the Fate's design. They know already who shall brandish them. Now they ask a favor. Seek Varatha. Speak the words. Go. I see you through the eyes of the Crimson Phoenix. Greetings. Work is approved upon my father's name. Not like he's paying any heed. I always meant to ask you, Orpheus. Where did you learn to sing like that? Was it really Apollo himself who taught you? Oh, I... I learned from many different sources, Agrius. That is, before all of my inspiration started coming from a single source. I credit my accomplishments to her and to Apollo and the gods. And to considerable time spent practicing. It certainly paid off. The head chef pulled it off. Greetings, broker. Some water-dwelling beast for you, good chef. All right, then. It's a deal. You like this stuff, don't you, boy? Well, good, because I like sneaking it over to you. <laughs> the delectable taste of nectar is enough to briefly sate even the ferocious appetite of the Hound of Hell. Contractor, I have another job. Hey, they're my bedchambers. I can have whatever wall scrolls I want. some rest. How about we put this there? The visage of the goddess Aphrodite now adorns the prince's bedchambers, perhaps to provide consolation after when next he dies. Aphrodite herself. Wonder if I could get this signed. Can't sleep. Heavy sleeping underworld prince arises, with the feeling that the brief nap he intended as a respite from the rigors of the day or night apparently was none too brief at all. Oh, I'm late for work. Father's going to kill me. Responsibility rejecting Zagreus strides down his father's hall, quite unconcerned about the urgency with which he is expected to behave under a set of circumstances such as this. Going as fast as I can, you hurry up. The door to the administrative chamber beckons just beyond the hall. The prince perchance believes that he may enter quietly without drawing the notice of those laboring within. You better not give me away, old man. Just you hurry in there, lad. Talk later. Let's not keep your father waiting. Sorry. You're late, boy. Again. The day or night's duties are sheer simplicity itself. At least at first. As when the prince simply signs in to signal the commencement of a shift. Oh, gods. Get on with your responsibilities. 
Security reports concerning failed escape attempts from Tartarus require timely verification and official response, neither of which Prince Zagreus is fit to give. Uh, that is the often failing prince attempts to sort the ledgers in the fashion necessary for the proper keeping of his father's realm. Damn it. Incorrect. The hard-laboring shades responsible for the administration of the prince's father's realm merely look on at the prince's ill-fated attempts. Oh, come on. That's not correct. The relaxation-loving prince never paid suitably enough attention to learn properly how to arrange the record bookings of the regions of his father's realm. Doesn't make any sense. Wrong. This set of delicate responsibilities is easily achieved at least by someone capable and trained to do the work, unlike the oft-distracted Underworld Prince. What? Do you not remember anything I taught? A careful record must be kept of all expenses paid within the house. A delicately handled tabulation process, which the Prince is ill-equipped to fully undertake. I... oh... No, wrong. Records of expired house contractor renovations line a desk in the administrative chamber, though the prince has absolutely no desire now to organize them alphabetically by date. None whatsoever, yes. At last, the work disliking prince records a summary of the results of his attempts to be of any use to the administrative needs of his grim father's house. Okay, I'm done. So, can I go yet, father? <sighs> Not only were you late again, but then you also failed to perform even the simplest tasks that I had asked repeatedly that you complete. How many chances do you need at this? I am too lenient with you. Too lenient? Instead of lambasting me non-stop, have you considered maybe training me some more to do this fascinating work to your satisfaction? You'll forgive me if I didn't memorize every laborious detail the last time you performed your monologue about how all this works. Excuse me? If I'm not mistaken, you're deflecting your incompetence toward me? As though the goddess of wisdom herself has come to aid you in your time of need. I could replace you here and now with any number of simple shades hungry to work here. Then why don't you? I don't want any of this. I'm not the one who drew the short lot with your brothers and got stuck here forever. Why am I having to do this senseless parchment pushing for you? Why are you stuck? You're not. You're fired. I was wrong to think you were prepared to take on any responsibility at all. And don't you ever invoke your uncles here again, or I'll have you cast into the lowest pits of Tartarus. Now get out of my administration and my sight. Hey, room. I'm back. Ugh, at least I can't be late for that job anymore. New details of another prophecy. Maybe this. No more darkness. You are here. Oh, it's only you. I better not. No use in drawing, lad. And next. <laughs> 